But it's a cool thing. No one's around. You know, you can just uh, pull down the fire alarm and disappear. <laughs> but the cameras are going to catch you. So don't do that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Talks with Janesh. This is a continuation from our last video, the tour of the engineering building. If you have not watched that, I highly recommend you first to watch that video. And then you come and watch this video. There will be a link in the description as well. And this part two is going to be a continuation of the previous video. And we're going to pick up from where we left off. Before we get started though, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, put your thoughts in the comments and give this video a huge thumbs up and now let's go to the engineering building. So this is the batch of 2019 and we have, these are just notice boards if you have uh, some sort of information you want to spread the, the message to students, you can put your notice around the campus, they've got boards everywhere. Let me tell you a fun fact about these notice boards right here. In my first year, I was a pretty good student in mathematics and so I wanted uh, to teach other students as well. Uh, first year students who have who are doing the courses that I've already completed. So what I did is I put out notices everywhere on these boards around the campus saying that if you want free tuition, uh, free uh, just one-on-one -on -one tutorials message me on this number and basically that's how I got so many students to message me and I was helping them out in the evenings and so I used that experience to get a job in the as a TA in the math department so if you if you guys have been following my videos you know I have worked as a mathematics TA uh, in the winter semester and I, I got that mostly because of that experience I spoke about that experience to the hiring coordinator and that's how uh, basically I feel like at least that's how I got the job that's great man <laughs> okay, so we are on the fourth floor now and this is the office of the Dean. So if you want to talk to the Dean, you can just come up here when the office is open, you can meet the Dean directly. So this is the undergraduate office uh, for first year students. If you have a question, you can just go in there and you will talk to someone and you will get help for sure. Yeah, like in my first year uh, when I needed help, like uh, choosing major or about my courses, I came here in this office and there is a lady, Shara. She helped me throughout the first year. So they're really helpful. So these are the names of the students who have received uh, the Dean's Award for Exemplary Service to the faculty. And this is Distinguished Alumni Award, uh, Dean's Award for Excellence in Graduate Student Supervision, and all kinds of appreciation boards are there. This is really cool. This is a batch of 1997. Wow. <laughs> this is a batch of 1996. That's really old. Before I was even born, man. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> These are students from that day. I wonder they had cameras back then. My goodness. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they did. They, they do. <laughs> This is 1986. Wow. My goodness. Oh my god. Most of you guys were not even born by then, I guess. <laughs> this university is super old. I would say. Wow. 1990. Wow. This is 1990. They're See, probably, probably see so the much faces? Older Their hairstyle and everything. <laughs> yeah. Totally look, different. At the, look at the hairstyle they had back then. It's pretty good. Yeah. Let's see the 1986 batch. That's the most. Oh, this is the oldest, I guess. Oldest, yeah. So, wow. so you see the students' hairstyles. <laughs> Pretty normal, I guess. Yeah. You got this much mustache. Oh, that's that's older than that. Oh, this is 80, 1985. 80, 84, 83. 83. Oh my God, this is oh, cool. Shit. <laughs> 77. 77. Oh, oh my God. Let's see the hairstyle. Wow. Here. So. See the suits. Wow. wow, they're pretty cool. You got okay. This is the moustache here. This is the moustache, the fully grown man. And wow, so this, this was how there, there is more over there. 76 in 1976. My goodness, one of the walkways that we have here. I don't know what is here, but let's see. Find out. This is a boardroom if you have anything you want to show around. If you have a presentation or anything like that you want to give to other students or teachers, you can uh, come over here, book a room, and then uh, this is basically the boardroom. So you can book it from, I think, the office down there, and you get like a one hour or two hour session. And in that session, you can present whatever you want to present. Oh, that's the end. I never knew that this lane also exists. Yeah. Okay guys, so that's the most important part of the university, I would say. For me, I, actually, uh, that's the cooperative education office where uh, there are a lot of uh, experienced people sitting over here, professional engineers, 
they will help you boost your resume make cover letters so they will really help you so you can see different names over here so uh, i'm getting a lot of help from nicole myers so she's really good she's helping me a lot for my resume cover letters and getting work done so these people are really really amazing my resume and everything uh, got like really well from these people so thank you so much cooperative education and also since we're speaking on the subject of cooperative education i should also say that i've had one interview with exon mobile in this office right here oh i guess yeah and my mainly my uh, resume and stuff was uh, handled by the cooperative department for computer science which is present in the science building and not in the engineering building and the advisors of there also they are very helpful they are very friendly and they assist you in finding a job they will give you tips and tricks as to how you can work on your interviews what you should prepare uh, before the interviews and how you should tackle questions during the interviews so uh, the cooperative department here is really helpful to students Yeah, I did like two mock interviews over here too. So they uh, scheduled mock interviews for me. That's actually just uh, just the interviews like to prepare you for the actual ones. So those were like uh, I think one hour long, and that one was very really helpful. They boost my confidence and everything. So I would recommend you all if you come here, uh, do like schedule for the mock interview. And also, let me show you a cool security feature here. So that right there is the camera that we have, and so if you do any naughtiness. This, but this guy here is going to catch you because i've heard of students who pull down pull down the alarm system on campus and then they run away but then <laughs> i don't think anyone has been caught yet cuz no, i don't yet. know <laughs> but it's a cool thing no one's around you know you can just uh, pull down the fire alarm and disappear <laughs> but the cameras are going to catch you so don't do that <laughs> so we are heading back out to the towards the elevators here uh, let me show you guys the outside once again by the way before i show you that this is the telephone booth so this telephone is removed but if you want to call someone and you don't have balance uh, on your cell phone or if you have some change you can deposit it deposit some money into here and just make your call where we want to call to and uh, you can see guys here the maps are like everywhere so you can never be lost so you can see these maps and you can find your way out you are here so yeah. you can if you want to go out you can go this way and take the elevators and go to the exit nearest exit they will explain you everything so don't so, worry so if you get lost in any of the buildings just uh, follow these maps these maps are really helpful they are present in every floor in every in every building of the university and, uh, and with that i can explain you one more thing like uh, there is a number that you can call anytime and the security will come and help you anywhere you are so don't worry so everything is fine here and if you want to fool around with the security you can just call them and bring them again <laughs> but uh, you probably can get in, into trouble so don't do that yeah, don't do that so now we're going to the first floor and we're going to show you uh, the uh, lab that we have in the first floor as well yeah. and the lab over there is also pretty big eh yeah there are like all the labs are here in the first floor <laughs> actually there's a third floor oops <laughs> we stopped in the third floor let's get to the yeah. first floor So in the first floor we have like different kinds of labs for electrical mechanical first floor is mostly for labs so all the labs are there so, so like solid works labs uh 3d printing lab uh electrical labs and testing thermodynamics labs all the labs are downstairs so let, let us show you i hope all of them are open maybe not the labs may not be open so here we've got the classrooms as well so this is one of the classrooms that is one of the classrooms right there and uh, as we walk we'll show you more around this is the fire hose in case there's an emergency and i'll show you my classroom which i have attended many classes in uh, this hall this hallway right here also has many classrooms and i've done my i think i've done a few classes there as well these are offices for the faculty members again uh, cindy miller stephen anthony and these are instructional assistants on campus and they can help you in your first year courses Yeah these people are very helpful like uh, they will help you throughout your program. So this is the classroom that I've done so many of my classes in. I don't it's probably uh, locked right now but uh, it's a huge hall inside and I've done my third year courses there and second year courses there. First year courses I don't think we're done there. And if you get thirsty during uh, the class break then what you got to do is this. Drinking like a horse. It's really cold. It's 
speaking of cold water the one thing i do not like about uh, the water fountains here is that every water fountain gives you super cold water yeah. so in the winter it is it is going to burn your throat you know your throat is going to freeze totally it's like drinking ice probably be a good advice to give if you carry your warm water with you that is going to help you out a lot uh, this is the electronics lab that we have and uh, it's locked right now so i cannot show you from inside but uh, this is where all the solid works and stuff are done it's pretty big from inside so that's the lab where all the electronic equipments are like circuits and everything so you make like different projects here in your third year or in your fourth year uh, so it's pretty cool but i'm in mechanical so i don't need to go with this lab it's very unfortunate it's not actually yeah i have like most famous labs too <laughs> So guys, we're walking towards another lab right now. Sahil is taking us. And before we get there, I want to show you what this machine here is. This is a cleaning machine right here. And I have used it. I have been working for By The Way Cleaners for quite some time as well. And I have used this one. It's basically a type of a mopper that uh, you take it and you drive it around. It cleans and mops the floor. So you don't have to do any work. You don't have to, do, you don't have to get your hands dirty at all. So this is pretty cool. This is what they use in the university. And they clean, you'll be surprised to know when the campus is running, all these floors would be cleaned every single day. That's a structure lab that's mostly for civil students where they test uh, tensile strength and stress and less analysis and everything. So that's the lab for that. You can see that's a huge lab from inside. See? All the cranes and everything is in there. Where, wow. you, where you crush different objects to see how, uh, how strong they are so that you can use in your uh, cars or in in your like designs wow i've never seen this before <laughs> it's locked too bad okay we got a bigger window we can show you from here this is how it looks from the inside they've got all kinds of cool stuff yeah so this, this lab is for students is that what you say yeah that's for civil students mostly civil students wow oh that's nice and they've got some thermal lab here as well it's all locked right now, but... And you can't get inside like without safety shoes and safety equipments. So, so you cannot get inside without safety shoes. No. And these are just racks. Uh, these are lockers if you have your... If you book a locker, I think you have to pay 20 or 30 bucks a semester. And they'll give you one locker. And you can lock your uh, coats and stuff in there. So as you can see, unfortunately, we can't get into the labs. But we are trying our best to show you different labs. So that's our materials lab, as you can see where uh, my last course uh, lab was there like the materials one where you test different materials uh, the forces and everything in there so that's pretty cool so right now we're heading back out and this was uh, the tour of the engineering building the cool thing about this building is that it is developed and structured in such a way that it is warmer in the winter and colder in the summer that is the unique thing about this building yeah they have like really good thermal systems so water flows through the pipe throughout the buildings to make it warm. If you guys want to see tours of other buildings, let us know in the comments and we will do yeah. touring of other buildings as well. Let me show you the animation we have behind us. <laughs> Sorry, has fallen in love with it. Yeah, that's the hammer. And then we have a buddy here as well, who seems <laughs> like a bit angry. So now we're headed out. Say goodbye to the Department of Computer Science and the Hyperloop that we have out there. I'll come back here like in winter because next semester is my work term. So I'll really, are you doing your work term in the fall? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm also doing my work term yeah. in the fall. Let's you, bye. Go. <laughs> uh, you are on a wheelchair and you cannot uh, physically open the doors. We have a button right here for you. You see the, the door opened and then they've got another button here as well. Yeah, that's mostly like in all the buildings, so it's really convenient. And then this is the road ramp that they have got, so you can, you know, use your chair and come up here as well. That's the bus that is coming towards the university center. So this is the engineering building from the outside, that is the Earth Sciences building, and this is how it looks uh, from the outside. I think he's going to give us a drone footage as well to yes. use. 
and you can see like all the buildings are connected so in the winter when there is like a lot of snow and everything you don't need to come outside to go to the next building you can just take, use the skywalk yeah, there just take the skywalk and go around the campus they've got the underground tunnel system as well the tunnel system as well that you can use so you're basically going to be under this road right here <laughs> all right folks that's it for this video thank you for watching if you enjoyed it then let us know in the comments like this video give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already also i should give a huge shout out to my guy here uh, he owns Breathtaking Canada, that's the name of his channel. Uh, I don't know how we stumbled upon that name, but that name <laughs> of the channel is really yeah, so good. Breathtaking Canada. So you can find link in the description below. Go and check it out. Subscribe the channel and you'll get a lot of videos coming up. And I will see you in the next episode. Till then, stay tuned. Bye!